Welcome to part 2 of the Social Link Symbolism. In this series, we explore how the story in the Social Links and Confidants connect to the symbolic meaning of the arcana they are attached to. This video will focus on number 6 to 10 of the arcana. Once again, the video will have heavy spoilers for Persona 3, 4, and 5. It will cover everything from the main plot, Social Links, Confidant, and even some of the secrets in the game. If you don't want spoilers, then head out now. With that, Social Link! The lovers show a man and a woman underneath a symbol of love. Their union under the divine represents a physical and emotional healing. With the blessing of the heavens, the card can mean love, harmony, human relationships, choices, or values. Reversed, it can mean disharmony, imbalance, misalignment of values, misconnection, or fear of commitment. Yukari keeps people at a distance, and we later understand why. She is uncomfortable with her mother's promiscuity after her father's death. This is further aggravated when she learns she is getting remarried and she cuts ties with her mother. As she becomes more comfortable with the protagonist, she slowly lets her guard down and shows her true emotions. When her mother asks for her forgiveness, Yukari realizes how she must have been lonely after her father died. Yukari decides to allow her mother back into her life as they slowly work through their issues together. Risa tried to distance herself from her idol persona because she felt that it was consuming her life. She became an idol to find more friends but found that fans were not the same thing. Where before she was bullied, she now finds herself surrounded by people who are only interested in Reset. However, Risa does have regrets about leaving the idol industry. She did feel burned out, but there were parts that she genuinely enjoyed. Risa realizes that she was picking roles in hoping of finding one that would be the real version of herself. She decides to stop running away and accept all the facets of her personality, including the idol persona, as she decides to go back into the idol scene. Anne wanted to try out different jobs like being an actress. Her lack of commitment is taken advantage repeatedly by Mika. She decides to stick with modeling because it inspired Shiho through her physical therapy. Even if Shiho has to switch schools, Anne vows to stay in touch with her. She also develops a friendly rivalry with Mika, who reminded her of the cartoon villainesses she looks up to. Anne is resolved to become a source of inspiration for other people, to share the strength that Shiho and Joker gave her. The chariot is pulled by two different colored beasts. They represent two opposing forces that the charioteer must learn to control to move forward. It represents control, willpower, success, action, determination, goals, travel or self-discipline. Reverse, it can mean forcefulness, lack of opposition, lack of direction, blockage, powerlessness, or aggression. Kazushi is dedicated to training as he prepares for the big tournament. However, he is hiding a serious knee injury that requires surgery. He is hesitant to go through with the surgery because it will take him away from training. The promise he made to his nephew was a convenient excuse for him to think only of himself. Kazushi realized that he is too focused on winning that he did not see how he will burden his friends and family. In the end, instead of promising to be the number one athlete, he promises to go through physical rehabilitation together with his nephew. Chie did not like seeing how pathetic her other self was and disciplines herself through training. She has fantasies about being a hero of justice, but her forceful nature tends to make trouble for the people around her. Ironically, she was most effective when she chose not to fight. Chie thought that her worth was in her power, but it was actually in her compassion, whether it was looking out for other people or taking care of Yukiko's dog. Ryuji dedicates himself to training but is bullied by the track team. They see Ryuji's short temper and opposition of Kamoshida as something that sabotaged the team. Ryuji wants to make peace with the team but is lost as how he should approach it. When Ryuji learned that the track team was going to be used in another conspiracy, he worked with Joker to expose this. Ryuji learns to stop blaming the people around him for his shortcomings and to be comfortable with whom he is. The Justice shows a scale, emphasizing the balance of intuition in logic in making decisions. It also shows a double-edged sword to show the precision needed to make clear judgment. These are important qualities needed in the pursuit of justice, fairness, truth, cause and effect, law, 
actions and consequences, honesty or integrity. Reversed, it can mean injustice, unfairness, lack of accountability, dishonesty, false accusations, or corruption. Chihiro's fear of men causes problems for the meek girl. She has trouble with money but recognizes the difficulty of her family situation. However, she is falsely accused of taking money from the school. Her hesitation at confronting her situation leads to things getting worse. When Chihiro realized that her inaction could lead to her losing someone important to her, she finally got over her fear and confronted the situation. By seeking out the truth, she was able to discover the misunderstanding and clear her name. Nanako struggles with understanding what happened to her mother. She asks difficult questions and seeks the truth from her big bro. She is trying to process her grief, but Dojima's distance makes her feel unimportant and unloved. She did not realize that her father was grieving in his own way as well, and her words further emphasized his own shortcomings. Dojima tries to make time for Nanako, and she realizes that they are a real family. Akechi, the detective prince, was the lead figure in the investigation on the mental shutdown cases and the phantom thieves. This made it easy for him to control the situation since he was on both sides of the issue. He believed that helping his biological father's tyrannical rise to power would force him to acknowledge him. He did not see that Shido just saw him as a puppet to be used and discarded. He despairs when he realizes that his integrity and reputation will be ruined when the truth is revealed. Akechi is spiteful at all the injustice he endured but his inability to trust anyone forced him to walk a path alone. In the end, he had to trust his greatest desire to the Phantom Thieves as he would be unable to do it himself. The Hermit's Lantern lights his way but only for the next few steps. It is a symbol of wisdom, knowing that not everything will be revealed but to move forward regardless. This imagery evokes the ideas of soul searching, introspection, being alone, inner guidance, meditation, or solitude. Reversed, it can mean isolation, withdrawal, loneliness, unhealthy separation, and paranoia. Maya likes playing the deserted MMO, although she does use it more like a chat room. With the anonymity provided by the game, she is able to vent out her frustrations in work and her personal life. She is happy that someone is able to understand her and often adopts different personas to explore her emotions. When the MMO's closure is announced, this disheartens Maya. In trying to do something special for her chat buddy, she realizes what a hard time she had been giving him, burdening Tatsuya with her emotional baggage all the time. Maya takes one hard look at herself and with a personal message for Tatsuya, bids a fond farewell to the protagonist. The fox in the shrine never speaks to you but it does make its intentions and motions clear enough. The fox wants to repair the shrine and plans to do this by spreading rumors of the shrine's benevolence. Fulfilling the request makes the request makers reflect upon their lives and come to new realizations about themselves. What they thought they wanted would lead them to what they actually needed. So their requests would be fulfilled, just not in the way they intended. Thanks to all the donations, the fox was able to renovate the shrine. With the new golden shrine and the reputation of fulfilled wishes, more people would come and donate to the shrine. Futaba is able to manage her social anxieties and paranoia by framing it like a video game. She wants to go back to school but finds many hurdles like her tendency to dwell on bad memories and lack of knowledge about people her age. Her promise list gives her a way of tackling these issues and seeks out her one friend, Kana. When she learns that Kana was still undergoing physical and possibly sexual abuse from her parents, she decided to break Kana out of her isolation. Rescued from her situation, the two friends are able to reconnect. The Wheel of Fortune is governed by the Sphinx. Its place at the top or center signifies the importance of staying balanced amidst change. Fortune represents good luck, karma, life cycles, destiny, a turning point, changes are coming, soulmates, or chance. Reversed, it can mean bad luck, resistance to change, breaking cycles, misfortune, losing control, setbacks, or disruption. Keisuke is expected to follow his doctor father's footsteps, and this frustrates him. Keisuke does not want to inherit his father's hospital. He is able to change his father's mind when he places high in the contest. Keisuke has an opportunity to study abroad, but his father is making all the decisions for him, like which school to go to and where he should board. Confused, he tries using things like fortune telling or going on a soul searching trip to decide for him. Eventually, he finds himself back to becoming a doctor, but now he has his own reasons for doing so. 
Naoto is challenged by the mysterious phantom thief to a game of wits when her belongings are stolen. She loathes indulging in such a childish endeavor, but part of her feels excited. The items stolen from Naoto were her toys from when she played detective as a child. The Phantom Thief was an elaborate stunt organized by her grandfather who wanted to remind Naoto of the joy that she had when she was younger. She was so focused on trying to be taken seriously, she forgot why she became a detective in the first place. After struggling with what she wants and who she is, Naoto is finally able to accept that she is a woman and she is not yet the detective she wants to be. Chihaya was using her fortune telling to lure gullible victims into the scams of the Assembly of Divine Power. She claimed that her holy stones were the only way to avert misfortune, but Joker shows her otherwise. Because her fortunes are so accurate, Chihaya has very little control over her life. Back at home, she was considered a monster. In the city, she became indebted to the ADP and became venerated as a maiden. Eventually, she comes to trust her own judgment rather than relying on fortunes. This is a lesson she teaches to the people after the ADP is dismantled. And with that, we conclude this video. Thanks for watching. The other arcanas will be covered in future videos, so if that interests you, consider subscribing. Remember, these readings are open to interpretation. You can share your own interpretations in the comments below. Until our paths cross again, see you, Nick's Annihilation Squad.